SAS congruence criterion. We have already learnt the SSS congruence criterion while making the exact copy of the given triangle ABC as shown here. Let us now find another criterion of congruence of triangles. For this, we will try to draw an exact copy of the same triangle ABC whose hidden sides and angles can be disclosed when required. We know that a triangle cannot be drawn if the length of only one side is given. So, let us view the measures of one side, say BC, and one angle B, that is, BC, is equal to 5 centimeters, and angle B is equal to 60 degrees. Now draw a line segment, BC, of length. 5 centimeters. At vertex B, make an angle of 60 degrees and draw a ray. Here, vertex A can be anywhere on this ray. So, we can draw any number of triangles which may not be copies of triangle ABC. This means we cannot draw a copy of a triangle, if the length, of only one side, and, one angle, are given. So, we need to know, one more measure, say AB. Let us view, the length of AB, that is, 3.4 centimeters. Here, A, lies on this ray, at a distance, of, 3.4 centimeters, from the vertex B. To mark this point, with center B, and, radius 3.4 centimeters, draw an arc, intersecting the ray. The point of intersection, is vertex A. By joining AC, we get, the exact copy of triangle, ABC. Hence, we can draw a congruent triangle, if the lengths, of two sides, and, the angle between them, are given. This condition, or criterion, is called, side angle side, or, SAS criterion. It can also be stated as, if, under a correspondence, two sides, and, the angle included between them, of a triangle, are equal to, two corresponding sides, and, the angle included between them, of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Now using this SAS rule, let us examine, whether, the two, given triangles, ABC, and, DFE, are congruent, or not. In triangle, ABC, and, triangle, DFE, we have, AC, is equal to, DE, as both, are of length, 4 centimeters. Also, we have included angle C, equal to, included angle E. That is, 50 degrees. We have, BC, equal to, EF, as both are, of length, 4.5 centimeters. Also, vertex A, corresponds to, vertex D. B corresponds to F. And, C corresponds to E. Therefore, by SAS congruence rule, we can say that, triangle, ABC, is congruent to, triangle, DFE.